What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm uh, Julian Dark Zamley and I help you reprogram your dick to mind and create the life you actually want to live. So today's video we're talking about how to quit weed and the best way actually to quit weed and also to be happy while you do it because I think that's probably the biggest reason people always go back is they feel like their life isn't good anymore. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this guys. Uh, I think this is going to be probably one of the best videos you've ever seen uh, to help you quit weed. That's my goal for it. Um, so really looking forward to it. And I also wanted to mention if you guys are struggling to quit weed on your own, um, it really helped me to ask for help from others. So I do offer one-on-one -on -one consultations. Um, feel free to go to the link in the description. You can book a call with me uh, on a time that works best for both of us. There's a little calendar there and uh, I can see how I can help you. So with that guys, let's get into it. So first thing to do when you're looking to quit weed is think of all the reasons why you want to actually quit. This is really important guys because the pain to, to continue smoking has to be greater than the pain to quit. So whenever we're going through a tough time, we're going to have stronger reasons to continue going and to continue forward with the efforts we're making than to just give back in and go back to our old ways and take the easy way out. So it's super important to come up with reasons about why you're actually quitting and make sure that you're crystal clear on them. Make them really meaningful to you. Reasons that, you know, if you didn't have those things resolved in your life that you would be super unhappy at the end of your life and you would be living in regret if you did not make the changes you need to make. Um, I have a really good quote for you guys here. Um, where is it here? All change is hard at first, messy in the middle, and gorgeous at the end. So just remember that guys, all change is hard at first, messy in the middle, and gorgeous at the end. Now, it's totally worth it to quit weed. You have to realize how worth it it is to quit weed and how worth it it is to go through this discomfort and get super clear. Like, I recommend writing everything out on a piece of paper so you can just, like, cement it in your mind. And whenever you're going through a hard time, you could remind yourself about what's going on. So once you've done that, guys, the next step, The next step is to write out a list of pros and cons. So similar to the first step, except now we're organizing this information. Um, for a lot of people, I find the cons are like they're tired all the time. They're lazy, disorganized. Another one you could put here is like anxiety. Um, you could say like, you know, not, not focusing on the right things in life not doing well in school, not doing well in job, whatever it may be for you. Um, write out all the cons, cost you a bunch of money. And those are all more reasons to add, like that will remind you of like, hey, this is why I'm quitting. Cause I don't like all these things that are happening when I smoke weed all the time. And then you're gonna write out a list of pros to smoking weed. Now this is really important and a big part that nobody really thinks about. So, for a lot of people, this is just an example, right? You're going to do this on your own, but um, it could be that they get to chill, right? Oh, I just want to relax after a long day. It's fun, you know, I'm bored if I don't smoke weed, so smoking weed's fun. I feel good, right? Maybe they feel, you feel crappy a lot, and when you smoke weed, you feel good. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these pros here, right? And you're going to create an action plan and a list of daily musts that you have to do every single day. And what these daily musts and this action plan is going to be is supporting you in getting these pros that weed was giving you in other, other healthier ways, right? Without substances. And that's a big key here, guys. You don't want to quit weed and start drinking every day or start popping pills or whatever, right? You want to be clear-minded and you don't want to be dependent on a substance to feel good every day so a few examples i could do here for you guys um if you feel like you just need to chill out after work or you need 
weed to chill. Well, if you can't relax without weed, you've obviously, you've got bigger problems, right? Weed isn't just your problem. You probably have, you know, a lot of stress in the day or you have, and you're not sure how to deal with it, or you might have, you know, trauma from the past that you need to heal from. It could be a bunch of things. I'm not sure exactly for you. Um, I could talk about for me, like feeling like I can't chill is because I didn't like where I was at in life with my job, with my life overall, and I just wanted to escape from it instead of focusing on working on it and fixing it. So one thing that I started doing was, well, I didn't like how I, um, I was not fit anymore. I lost my fitness. So one thing I do I did every day was exercise. Now this was like a huge daily thing to add for me. That really helped me guys, especially when quitting weed because exercise, this not only helped me to chill after I exercised, I felt relaxed. Like, Oh, like I'm, you know, I've exerted all this energy and now I can chill, but also it was fun and it made me feel good after. It helped me build up my self-esteem. So there is an example of one thing I could do that literally solves all of these other problems in one go, right? Um, another thing, oh, I'm not having fun. Well, maybe you need a new hobby, right? Maybe you need a new hobby. Um, it could be anything, guys. You could start a YouTube channel documenting your experience of going through this, you know, this change in your life. You could start a new sport or maybe you could just start any like it could literally be anything you could start cooking you could start going out and doing like clay pottery classes you could literally you know anything guys you could start like um i don't even know you could literally just google list of hobbies to try on google you'll come up with thousands of things you could do you could start flying like remote control airplanes <laughs> like there's literally so many things um so that could be something else you find a new hobby right because if you're not having fun then that's a big problem right and weed is never going to solve that for you finding something that actually helps you build up a skill of some kind and enjoy your time is going to be the solution to that feel good i don't feel good well that could be a bunch of things one thing, maybe you're not grateful for what you have in your life. Maybe you're always focusing on the negative. So you could do daily gratitude. That could be one thing. Daily gratitude plus maybe like a five minute meditation to calm your mind. You know, there's a lot of great apps out there now uh, for meditation. I got one. It's called Calm. There's also Headspace. I'm sure there's a bunch of them. Um... And just doing a five or 10 minute meditation every day has really changed a lot for me, guys. It, like you might feel like sometimes there's like a monkey running around inside your head um, and you can't focus. Well, meditation helped me to like really calm my mind and focus on what's important to me in life, which overall just helps me feel good because I feel more in control. And feeling gratitude, guys, like gratitude is the highest emotion there is, the highest energy that you can have. And it's a healing energy. People who are sick and ill, they're generally on the lowest level. They're angry, they have regret, resentment, they wish they did different things in life, they feel like they're a victim, and they don't take control of their life generally. Not saying this is everyone, but most people you ever talk to, they're in a really negative emotional state all the time. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope this all made perfect sense to you. Um, just do the work, like sit down, Think deeply for, you know, this might take you half an hour, an hour, and it might even take you 10 minutes, guys, if you already know all this stuff and you just haven't been doing it. Um, another thing you could add is like accountability, right? Having a checklist of these things for each day. And, you know, you can't go to bed at night till you're done them all. And if you're ever feeling, feeling like you're not chilling out, you're not having fun, you don't feel good, you can resort back to this list of things in order to lean on to help you feel good and not just, you know, take the weed away, but then feel like crap 
and not have anything else there and just be thinking about smoking weed all the time, right? Have an actual plan in place that helps you to resolve, um, you know, these benefits you're getting from weed in a healthier way. Um, this is ultimately how you're going to be able to quit weed long term and also to be happy while doing it and, you know, grow into a new way of life and a new way of living. Um, so, yeah, with that, guys, uh, you know, I hope this really helps you. It really helped me when I quit weed. And like I said, if you're still struggling on your own, you need that extra accountability. You need someone to coach you. Um, call, Go in the link in the description. Set up a call with me. I'll see how I can help you. And I, I mean, I've been getting great results with people who I've been working with. I love doing this kind of work and helping people make massive change in their life and just being a happier overall person. Um, so it'd be an honor to work with you. But if not, no worries. I totally support you in doing this on your own. And I just want to see people live up to their potential in life and uh, live up to their purpose, you know, stop floating around aimlessly and feel good about themselves overall. So love you guys. I uh, hope you enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you next one. Bye.